The Honduras Water Project is bringing clean drinking water to 330 residents of Barrio Limpira and Colonia Limpira in Honduras. Tetratech staff and the Engineers Without Borders Orange County chapter have made significant progress on the project over the past year. Construction of a 20,000 gallon elevated water storage tank is nearing completion. And construction of the water distribution system will begin in early December. Once the distribution system is completed, members of both communities will have clean, safe running water in their homes for the first time. In the last year, the team has also completed the distribution design, held a design review workshop, procured all piping materials, negotiated for land for the new well, and obtained the well pump and motor. The team is now providing construction phase services and preparing operating manuals. The goal is to create a sustainable, long-lasting water system. Tetratex Joe Dietz, Elias Sabatu, and Steve Tedesco are leading the project as part of the EWB Orange County Chapter. Elias participated in the project as a student and continues his involvement now as a Tetratex employee. It's been a great experience helping people in another country have access to clean drinking water. The people of Honduras are a kind, warm, friendly people. They work hard for a living and we're always willing to lend a helping hand to complete the project. I'm also very grateful that my work in EWB put me in contact with Tetratech and helped me land my first paid engineering position. Twelve other Tetratech staff members also helped raise $15,000 for EWB chapter through its annual corporate challenge event. Tetratech's support of Engineers Without Borders projects will change countless lives, providing both hope and opportunity. By getting involved in EWB's volunteering student and professional workforce here in North America, we are helping mentor and train the next generation of engineers and develop responsible leaders. Tetratech's support of Engineers Without Borders allows staff to make a real difference in the lives of people in developing countries. It allows us to see firsthand how our engineering profession can affect the world. When this project is completed, I'll be thankful that it was part of making 330 people's lives a little better.